What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the set of CJ's first cooking show. I am CJ. Right over there is Nate. Right what over up? there is uh, Ethan. Have you guys ever had the greatest taco of your life? Yeah, I made them the other day. You no, you haven't because you haven't had this good. taco. It was a rhetorical question, Errol. I'm talking Al Pastor tacos. Okay. Moneymaker tacos. Okay. <laughs> I've actually never made Al Pastor tacos. I've eaten many a taco, but today I thought I would get someone to help me make that. So right over here, I've got my man, Andy Nat. You can come on, come on then, come on, come come on, on then. On. Come on back, come on back. Andy is an absolute rock star chef. He is gonna show me the magic behind El Pastor tacos. Maybe learn a thing or two along the way. Just a, just one or two. Just, just one or two. <laughs> I got so you. what we're doing here, if this is your first time viewing, every time the bell rings, we grab something to sip on. So, well, well hi. Well, welcome back, kitten. It's good to be back. Is that sure? Yep. I don't, it is now. Sure, there we go. Here we go. Uh, oh. Ooh, okay, oh. all right. Where did what the no. heck? So my boy Andy here, like I said, is a champion chef. I actually met him when he used to work at a different restaurant. Now you're working at Kill Farms. Tell us like about the Kill Farms experience. Because it is an experience, right? Oh, it's hundred percent. Um so it's a farm. Obviously, we do a lot of strawberries. So it's not just a clever name. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't we don't really in. Yep. Um, but we also have a uh, nice restaurant inside. We have a brewery. A me uh, we do ciders, wines, uh, beer. So we kind of do it all. You uh, all in house? Yeah. So, That's amazing. Uh, the on property, we have a brewery and a winery in the back. Uh, probably about half a mile behind the restaurant. And then, like I said, in in, in the front, you go look at the the blueberries, the strawberries. We do and you can pick them. In, yeah, yeah. Like, so in April right now we're doing you pick uh, for blueberries um, and strawberries uh, about a month out. But nice. Yeah. All right. Well, right on. Well, the experience is incredible, and you are actually working on a Cinco de Mayo menu right now. Are you oh, not? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Which so, is what inspired today. Yeah. El Pastor. Apparently, this is going to be on the menu, right? Uh, yeah. So this is one of the menu items that we're going to have uh, at Kiel Farms for Cinco de Mayo. Um, it's also sangria night, so we're gonna be flowing a lot of sangria type specials. Oh, uh, they have Heck a DJ, yes. uh, dancing. Okay. You know, if, if you're into that kind of stuff. Well, I'm just we wondering are. if CJ is the inspiration for this dish. All I, all I get is cream. Uh, uh, he's trying to ride your coattails. What's with you and all your new chef buddies? Ah, uh, listen, when you fall into the scene like I have, <laughs> you can't help it. So, dude, let's get started, man. What's the first thing that we're gonna do? Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna dice up the pork shoulder. Pork gonna... shoulder. So this, I mean, al pastor is, it's gotta be pork, right? Oh, 100%. Typically it would be on a spit um, and you'd roast it and carve it. Yep. Uh, but we're gonna do it a little bit different, do it a uh, street taco style. And we don't have to have like a ton of this. Just, I mean, we are only feeding one, two, three of us. So essentially what what size of chunks of meat? Are we looking for slices? Are we looking for bits? Like no, I'd tubing say probably, this? Like... Yeah, probably more on the bit side. You want it to be nice small pieces because this type of, type of meat is a little bit Tougher. You, okay. It's something you'd normally like do barbecue and smoke it for a long period of time. Okay. Uh, so the the smaller we cut it, uh, the better it is. So it's not too chewy when you actually. Eat. Um, now once this is done, we're gonna move on to the marinating process, right? Oh, I forgot. First, we gotta get this in a bowl the and bowl. get it out of the way. So we're gonna. I mean, all this is going in here, and this is where the marinate. How many tacos is this gonna make? Roughly, if with the smaller ones, probably six. Maybe seven. Dang. All right, we're gonna be big tacos, so. Let's get One, this guy up. Two, three. Yeah, two each, six. That'll work, that'll work. Wait a second. All right, talk <laughs> to us about the marinade, bro. Uh, so for the marinade, we're gonna do uh, pineapple, chipotle, garlic, a little bit of cumin, oregano, salt, pepper, and, uh, and an onion. That's and it? it? Yeah, and then all you're gonna do is throw it in a blender and blend it all up, and then the acidity in the the pineapple juice will actually help break down the pork. Oh, dang. Uh, so we're gonna let it pork. sit. Yeah, we'll oh, let it sit for a couple hours. Pork. So essentially, a blender is critical. You can't just like chop this up as small as you can. Like this has to be blended, right? Oh, 100%. You want it to be super smooth. Silky and smooth. And then it can just sit inside the pork. Ideally overnight. Yeah. Perfect. Because this is television, through the magic of television. <laughs> Did you just sit them? Oh. We're going to set our marinade over here, and magically it appears here. Wow. Which has been marinating for how long? Uh, overnight. Overnight. So before we get to this, we have been hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Hey, dude, you want to ring it? 
Sure. You sure? You look a little hesitant. If you put one fin on that boat. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't touch the boat. Okay. That Whoa. is. Whoa, geez. Two. That was. Is, all that, right. is that too many? That's one, one too one many. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheers, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Dude, talk to me about the veggie situation here. All right, so for a green salsa. Or a you... salsa verde? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so we're going to just combine uh, some tomatillos, onion. Which I love. Lime juice and jalapenos. Okay, but we're not putting all that like in a blender right now, right? What's the first step we're doing? No, we're going to roast them off on the flat top. Nice. Uh, just to get a little char on them to cook them. It's going to soften them up oh, a little I bit. I love tomatillos. Dude, They're I love so it. so good. Uh, honestly, salsa, uh, like salsa verde is, it's it tied with any other salsa in my life. Not excluding or including Taco Bell hot sauce, yeah. which no. is not a salsa. Dude, you were on a roll. But you it is a, it is chef, certainly buddy. a delicious sauce. Yeah. Dude, tell me, you like Taco Bell hot sauce. I love Do Taco not... Bell in general. Oh, <laughs> no. After See? a closing shift, that's where I go. No! Oh my gosh, hold on, I gotta bring it and bring it again because, <laughs> sorry, this is the way it is. Oh, you get your glass in the air, you no good. <laughs> <laughs> How blended do you want it? <laughs> As much as it'll go, yeah. <laughs> How blendy? How blendy? How blendy? Let's, ha let's have... Whoa. What was that seasoning you added? Is that cumin? So we did uh, some oregano, some cumin, salt and pepper. You right? A little yep. lime juice. A little, a little olive juice. oil. Are you dabbing? <laughs> How's yeah. that? Yeah. No, that's good. Oh, that's you want to have a smooth consistency. That looks pretty dang smooth, bro. You want to make it look creamy without actually using any cream products. Okay, sweet. So, dude, are we on to the, to the star of the show? Actually, we've had a lot of stars. Yeah. It's time for another star on the Walk of Fame. <laughs> star on the Walk of Fame. Yes, sir. Take it away, bud. All right, so something important to note. The pool. Our Blackstone is set to, s well, hold on. Oh, okay. hey, Ethan. Nope. There, just walked right in. Oh, you kind of snuck up on me there. I am very, very sneaky, sir. Officially set to stun, maybe set to? Super high. Super high or 11. Oh, 11. Oh. You? These go to 11. This griddle goes to 11. Come on. Come on. It's, right there. it's right there, bro. Did not see that coming. All right, so it's super hot. You want to kind of drain off the excess liquid. That's all going to be a little bit of the pineapple juice say, that was sitting in. Oh, no. Hot side's over here. No, you can Come just on, go Andy. over there. Go oh, over there. Oh, my goodness. Like, first, like playing cards with my brother's kids or something. You nerve-wracking sons of So uh, we're not going to put all of that down, right? Like we're, we're maybe like half the amount that's in that bowl there because we're only feeding three of us. Yeah. Um, what? So, we want a nice sear. I told you he was going to do it. I heard you say this earlier. You kind of want some burnt. Like, explain that to me. Yeah, so you're going to have the sugars and the pineapple charring off. Uh, but you kind of want that. It's going to give you a little bit of crispy uh, exterior uh, and mix a little bit of the smoky with the sweet. So, yeah, two or three minutes, right? And then we're complete? Yeah, because we dice it so small. Obviously, if you dice it a little bit bigger, it's going to take longer. Take longer, uh, thicker chunks of meat. 100%. That makes sense. Dude, all right, so the salsa here is pretty much done. Just got to mix this up, yeah? Yep. Uh, just toss in a little bit of the leftover cilantro we oh. got. We forgot to make the salsa. Continue the joke. Gotcha. Get some Heck green. Yeah. Got some and that should be that good love. to go to make some. Right. I don't know what it is. If there's cilantro in it, I want it. I want that. You're not a soap person? Oh, Wait, no. 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 We, we definitely love cilantro on this person. set. By that, by that, I mean you're you're not a wrong person. That's hey, right. real quick. You like Neil Diamond? Oh. Answer correct, guy. I mean, I feel like you're going to want me to say yes. I but, am. But I probably won't. Your heart wants you to say yes. Yeah. Your heart wants you to say yes. Neil Diamond amount that I know is from Saving Silverman. You the guys have been sending me all those letters and tapes. Which is fantastic. All right. Diamonds in the rough. Hey, so we're going to get to tortillas in a second. All right. Uh, before we do that, guys, look back here. Uh, while we were cooking all this pork, uh, we start to get all this nasty yeah, right here. a mess. Dude, this is the beauty of uh, cleanup on here, man. It's literally just scraping this off and uh, your, pa your palate. <laughs> Not your palate. Or you're making a pallet for your tortilla and your food. And then uh, we just. Are you talking right now? Are you talking? Shut up, Richard. I don't know who you are. Are you 
okay? Yeah. Now the eternal question. The eternal. Not the Neil Diamond situation. Flour or corn? Flour. Flour. Flour hey, or corn? Ethan. Flour. Corn. Yeah. Corn! ¿Por qué no las dos? How do you feel about you corn with a K? No, I do Uh do you want any oil down or just light toasting? Uh, yeah, light this is toast. a fun thing we're doing here. I'm just gonna just shoot gonna, your back. <laughs> I'm just gonna do one of yeah, those. Yeah, we're gonna stay here. Spoken! Oh, that down. Little frisbees. Yeah. Little okay, frisbee good. action. Little frisbee action. All right, so we're gonna just toast these up briefly, dude. Then let's talk about the building situation because that's where we're at right now, right? Yes, sir. All right, building. How do we start this? So we're gonna set up the tacos uh, on the plate. Uh, we can fit three or four on this one, and then we're gonna kind of fold them up so they kind of support each other to make them not look nice and, and approachable. Good presentation. So yeah. what's the what's the part? Um, we're just classic. We're going meat down first. Yep. So you're gonna meat, salsa. Wait, which salsa? Pineapple salsa, okay. good catch. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then uh, for those who like the heat, we can put the little jalapeno tomatillo salsa on top. Okay. If not, it's perfectly fine with just the pineapple uh, tomato onion salsa that we okay. just made. And then we've got some uh, cotija. Uh, yeah, so we got queso fresco. Oh, queso uh, fresco. Ah, there yeah. we go. My bad. You know, to tomato, tomato. Tomato. Uh, or tomatillo. Tomatillo. Yeah. Dang it, you beat me to it. <laughs> potato, tomato, potato, tomato. That sounds awesome. Before we eat it, can we just ring it and bring it real quick? Yes, sir. Let's ring it. Let's bring it. You even let him ring Dude, it. Dude, we have. Sorry, after that double ring. Off the rails on a crazy train, sir. Restaurant quality tacos at home. Dude, this is incredible. Al Pastor tacos, if you've never made them, it's not a huge process, but it's that doable. That was all pretty easy. That was all. It's doable, and it's very restaurant style. Dude, I love the way you played with these. The little lime trick. It's pretty cute, bro. Good trick. It's, it's a good trick. A little party, party trick. A little, part, little party favor there. All right, so obviously we got to get into this, and I'm going to get a corn one mm, corn. because I'm, I'm a red blooded American who likes a good taco. Uh, so, yeah, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I've got oh, a tomatillo action. Yeah, because. Hit me with that. You, yeah, you want a little bit of that? Yeah. How's that? Wow. Yep, yep. All right, buddy. Uh, cheers. Big ears, yep. Would have been better on flour, huh? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not dude. That is money. No, it's like the smoky and the spicy from the adobo. You got the pineapple to make it a little sweeter. Kind of sweeten it up, tone yep. it down. Dude, I gotta say, um, these are perfect. Th these are the best al pastor tacos I've ever had in my life. Thanks, man. No. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, leave it in the comments. What are your favorites? Favorite tacos, that is. You ever had al pastor? Are you a corn or a flour individual? Yeah, easy. Yeah, flour. corn, obviously. But speaking of comments, it's that time, dude. You, you know what time it is, right? It's time for CJ's favorite comment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's yep. time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Welcome to the segment of the show where we screenshot comments from you, the viewers. Mm -hmm. Because if you guys write it, we read it. And we have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I sometimes I cry <laughs> a little, uh, lose a little sleep. But either way, this is raw from you. Let's see what they have to say. So starting from the top, in no particular order, I'll kick this one off because it's a special one to me. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. We haven't heard from him in a while. But oh no. Oh, Kevin Long. Kevbot! Yeah. Give it up for Kevbot. Kev uh, Kevin is a longtime hater of the show. Not true. Specifically me. Closet, huge fan. Not not closet. He's a huge fan. Yeah, I don't know about all that. But Kevin, he's, he's a real zinger. He's hit me a time <laughs> or two. Uh, so Kevin Long says, ready for this? Mm -hmm. Wow, buddy. I stopped watching your videos months ago, but when I saw this one, was six minutes or so, I watched <laughs> and loved it. Whoa! Definitely your best presentation ever. See? Nice See? job, CJ. See? Whoa, 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 Kevin. See? This had to have been like a comment on April 1st or something like that because there's no way that I actually believe this you is legit. You finally changed his mind, Frazier. I kind of miss you hating me. Can we go back to you hating me? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Well, here's to Kevin and all his love yeah, but and all legend. of his original hate. It's about time. Cheers to you, buddy. <laughs> all right, what's, this, uh, what's the next comment? Uh, from Kevin Bromhead. Finally, CJ cooks up something amazing that I will have to try myself. <laughs> finally, finally. finally, I usually come, <laughs> I usually come here for the sweet movie quotes. You could say things are getting pretty serious. Uh, so okay. I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. Been chatting online with babes all day. Besides, 
We both know I'm training to become a cage fighter. Kevin Bromfield? Kevin oh, wait, Kevin. An another Kevin. Another Kevin. Two Kevins don't make a right. Hey, Kevin. Thanks. Your mom goes to college. Peace out. <laughs> All right, this comes in from Douglas Downing. Douglas has been Douglas here a time or two. I am Iron Man. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, it says, hey CJ, Nate needs to back off about the freezer shortcuts. Wait, is it Douglas Downing Jr.? Douglas Downing. Downing Jr.? Yeah. Cool. Am I making you uncomfortable? <laughs> Some of us are hot dog and tater tot home Wait, is chefs. Is it Douglas with like a D? For crying out loud, shut up! Sorry. Oh, that, uh, that went well. It's down tater tot. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are hot dog and tater tot home chefs and not heirloom tomato and prime rib types. So just step off! Step off! Uh, Douglas. Is the movie quote or are you adding No, I did that because he said step off and I read it. that and I yeah. immediately went to School of Rock. Step off! Step off! Step off! From Ken H. Ken H. Ken H. I agree with real deal. I actually continue to watch because of the quotes and clips. One might say you were the Cliff Clavin, cheers, of the cooking shows. As, oh. as for creative cooking part of your show, well, go ahead and tell him, Nate. Wait, what? That's literally what he says. Oh, wait, if you're the Cliff, am I the norm? Or is Ethan the norm? I'm not so sure. Either way, cheers. Who's the Carla? Cheers? Ooh, Carla. Cheer cheers. Liter Everybody cheers. Everybody cheers. knows your... Name. Where everybody knows your name. Da, da, da. You wanna be where you can see. Uh, Howard Camardell says, one thing I like about this style of video. Oh, is it not Howard Hughes? One thing I like about this style of video is I can cut my watch time down by 50% by fast forwarding through all the miscellaneous hipster movie slash TV references. Hipster. Honestly, I'd like to learn more about my Blackstone. Yes, I have too. But geez, this is difficult to watch. More power to those that like this style. I'd just like to learn how to make Nashville chicken. Well, you learned how to make Nashville chicken. And we had a good time doing it. Yeah. So, Howard. And he's got two. <laughs> yeah. Howard Hughes, good on you. <laughs> I guess. All right, so I'm gonna let my boy wrap it up here. Could be a doozy. We Could shall be. see. Uh, take it away, bro. Uh, from Lindbrook Lynn Mutt. Love me some Bruce Mitchell. Yep. Even enjoy Nathan Lippy, well, who okay. seems to be prominent on the Blackstone channel well, these you days. Know. But Blackstone slash Nathan, really, you need to lose CJ. Ring it to bring it is not the mantra you want for your brand. Ring it to bring it. Yep. We're here well, you for. You kind of need to ring it. And bring it. Yeah. We're here for food. Not a drinking game with lame references to old movies. Get your marketing focus group you know, to, you know, actually focus. More wow. Blackstone cooking videos. Dang. What's this guy's name? Lynn. I don't think that's his Lynn, real name. Lynnbrook Mutt? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Lynnbrook. More like Lynnbrook Butt. Yeah, Lynnbrook Butt, he said. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to say to that, except you're just really mean, dude. He wrote in a beautiful accent. Did he, though? And he took the time. That's, that's quite, that's quite an quite extensive review. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he thought about it. Did he though? Well, I'm gonna think about it now. Okay. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you have a chance to make your way to Plant City, this is my man right here, Andy. He's gonna be at Kill Farms, doing his thing, making delicious recipes, like oh, what you so just good. saw. Taco um, that Taco El Pastor is officially in my repertoire. And uh, thanks for being a chef that likes me and is on the show and <laughs> doesn't like Nate. Wait. What? Yeah. What why? And that? why do we not like Nate? Oh, that's right. Because he ghosted you four years ago for no good reason. That's not oh, true. he was too busy on morning shows. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Yeah, we know because you weren't on a morning show. I forgot. He left me on red. He left you on red. And that's the worst. Mm -hmm. Be sure to go to BlackstoneProducts.com for this recipe and tons of others. Also, go to GriddleNation.com. And if you didn't know, it's a party. Nah, dude. Uh, All those things. No. Uh, but it, you probably know this by now. This is CJ's first cooking show where we cook and, and we party. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Geez. I mean, I like to party. I know for a fact you do not party. You're right. Dave's a party guy. <laughs> we like to <laughs> cook and we quote. Oh, I don't want to help me pass the thick with the... Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> the mean quotes really get me. Dude, I swear, stuff like that, you're going gonna... right, to. We cook and we quote. You might just That's all I gotta say. make me want to. You know, walk off a bridge because I might be ending my own life in Speaking a weird way. Speaking of ending your own life, hey CJ, did you know? Whoa. Whoa.
Did you know that suicidal tendencies in 1994, they actually noticed that they were mounting mainstream success, and because of this, they sought to produce the most inaccessible album so far. If you notice, I said album correctly. Yeah, I, 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 Sli I, noticed, I slightly, slightly noticed. noticed. I slightly noticed. They made the most inaccessible album. It was way more aggressive, way more vulgar, and when it came out, it actually got critical and consumer. It was, it was a critical and consumer flop, so they did what they wanted to. Wow, so they tried to, like, shut their own game down. Yeah, and they kind of did. Well, here's to the suicidal tendencies doing what they do best. Cheers. Um, we will see you guys in the next episode. It's a weird way to end it. Yeah, episode. Episode. <laughs> I think it's uh, ended this show. Well, we're done now. Okay. Are you done? Yeah, I think so. I think we're done. <laughs> what was that? Just a little cup play. Oh. <laughs>